Yep, 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 yep. <coughs> As my dear friend Hamer says, yep, 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 uh, I'd like to finish out talking about uh, where parallelism can cause uh, plan issues and where um, it is difficult to figure out why an execution plan might be slow from looking at it uh, by talking about uh, repartition streams. Now, we looked uh, in the last video where several exchange operators spilled and things were rather dire. In this one, we're going to look at uh, where things don't spill, but um, perhaps we have some uh, some reasons why things might have gone poorly. Now, Again, this query runs for about 42 seconds, so that's a pretty good chunk of change there that I don't want you to sit through. So I, re I ran the query ahead of time. And when we look at the plan, <coughs> uh, let's see, go over here. Um, we have uh, index seek into the votes table, and then we have this repartition streams operator. And the first thing that I want you to notice is that we spend just about, let's see, uh, again, these are row mode plans, so the operator times are cumulative, reading from right to left. So 19.6 minus 1.6 is, let's see, 18.6, 18. So we spent just about, well, I mean, like, what, 17 and a half seconds uh, in this repartition streams operator? That's not a good sign. This kind of happens again, too. If we look up a little bit further in the plan, uh, we'll have this hash match operator, which is about 24 and a half seconds, and then this repartition streams operator, which is about 33 and a half seconds. So uh, another good chunk of time, almost 10 seconds spent in there. Now, in this case, uh, I do believe it's because there is some, there is uh, quite a bit of skew in the parallelism. Uh, which I'll show you in a minute, but I've definitely seen cases where this happens when there isn't as profound skew. Um, I've definitely seen cases where it happens when there is no skew. In this case, this demo just happens to work out really well where there's skew and there's slow parallelism exchanges. So if you look at what happened here, <coughs> uh, all 3.373321. Uh, Ooh, that's three, 37 million rows ended up on a single thread. That is not a good time, apparently. <laughs> that is Not much got repartitioned here. If we look at this operator, if we look at the index seek, uh, things started off kind of okay. Like, kind of okay, right? A lot of, lot of 1.2s, thread 3 was an outlier, <laughs> and then uh, when we went to rebalance the streams, uh, we ended up in a bad spot. And <laughs> um, th this sort of happens again. I should probably keep this in focus here. Uh, this repartition, uh, this hash match, and then this repartition streams actually does its job. Look how nice and even that is. And then this hash match is nice and even too. But then this repartition streams is back to Sucksville. And that's, that's no good at all. And that's all going into this thing here, which only ends up with one row. <laughs> Just a bit absurd, uh, and um, I'm not exactly sure why uh, this gather streams takes another seven seconds. Um, I'm not that handy with a debugger, but this is where a lot of the, the clogging happens in the execution plan. Now, one could make all sorts of reasonable efforts to tune this query plan, or to tune this query. One may see things one may want to do, but we're not going to do that here because we are not... We are not tuning queries here. We are just talking about how the, the cache plans can hide things from you. Now, this is one thing where SP Blitz Cache can't help. Um, there is no way to detect parallel skew after the fact, and there is no way to get per operator runtimes from a cache plan to give you a warning about what went wrong when we ran this. Um, but what I can show you is that, um, excuse you, excuse you again. What I can show you is that we lose all of that interesting information in the cached plan, right? We don't see how long this ran for. It's like, oh, cost 9%. What? No big deal. This cost 24%. We should do something about that. Uh, and then, like, you know, we'll see stuff here. But none of those, um, none of the parallelism operators that, where there was really um, a big holdup in the execution plan are showing uh, are showing why they were, or showing that they were the slow points. Uh, we do see that there were spills in this. But the spills weren't the problem, right? The the spills were pretty small, and we just didn't, <clears throat> um, you know, we just didn't uh, 
spill so much that like you know fixing the spill would be the big fix for this right and this doesn't even have the big problem that uh the the query plan with the exchange spills or rather the the metadata about the query plan with the exchange spills had in this case we have uh total cpu at about 110 seconds the duration at about 40 seconds so we don't even have like that like you know forensic helper of like you know, uh, CPU being even or lower than duration in a parallel plan to to look at. So that can be rather misleading as well. Um, so again, think you know, stuff to keep in mind when you're looking at cached plans is you know that a lot of stuff's going to be missing. Um, looking at the metadata can help sometimes. Other times, it's a mystery. You know, there are you mo like a lot of times you will definitely need to see an actual execution plan in order to make any sort of um, any sort of like reasonable guess at what part of the query or query plan to focus on. Anyway, uh, that's it for this one. Uh, and the next video is going to start a whole new topic. Whew, we're gonna start fresh. Who knows what clothing I'll take off for the next video. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and see you over there. Goodbye.